Namaste, my name is Dio and welcome to my channel. Today I'll tell you a little about black magic. It's one of the most famous topics that's spoken about and sometimes not spoken about on this path of spirituality. So everything I share with you is just going to add to everything that you already know about black magic. But the only thing is, there's a lot that you can go on and on and on talk about black magic and how it works and different practices. In this video, I'm just going to tell you the gist of it, how it works, what it basically is and how you need to protect yourself with it. So for those who think black magic is not real, my friend, it's absolutely real. So please hear me out now. Firstly, every country, every culture calls it black magic. Here in India, we call it Kala Jadu. Kala means black, Jadu means magic. Similarly, all around the world, it's always referred to as black magic. Why is that? I'll tell you further ahead. But for now, let's just see, for now, let's just see it as magic. Forget about the black part of it. Like in our day-to-day -day life, in this three-dimension world that we are living in, how normally and naturally we are using this magic. Okay, like I said, we won't call it black magic, we just call it magic. So now this body of ours, we are a soul in this, in this human suit, which is a projector. Okay, so every time any of the spiritual practices that you're doing is basically manipulating this projector, this body suit into projecting what you really want. So the change happens inside and the result happens outside. Like your mudras or your mantras or any other practices that you're doing will always change your thought process, your mind and eventually the result will be out there. So now, even if you're not somebody who's doing all these practices, let's say even somebody like your gym coach, Okay, you're in the gym and you're doing your sets and you're doing your rep and you're doing your bicep and you reach till the till the tenth rep and now you have the coach pushing you and pumping you that come on you can do it two more two more he's manipulating you with his words with his actions with his energy into you pushing two more two more two more reps five more reps ten more reps you can do it all those energetic words is him manipulating this entire body suit for you to give him those five more reps for your own good so what he's providing you is a body okay like let's say if there's a car that car is a body that body is not going anywhere till the time the fuel is not there so similarly he's providing you a body of words and energy you are the fuel that's putting in that energy you're listening to his words you're accepting his words somewhere or the other like even an athlete coach, you know, who says, who's always pushing you, or for that matter, even a motivational speaker, who's telling you all these good words and pumping you up, and he's basically doing it for your own good. Now, similarly, this is all what magic is. Similarly, you're creating magic. Now, similarly, every time somebody's telling you something bad, you're not good for it, you're bad, you're a failure, you are feeling low because you're accepting those words. They're doing the same thing. They're using those words, those mannerisms, that energy into putting you down. So again, they're manipulating your own body suit, okay, to feel that way. They're providing you with a body. You are putting in that fuel by accepting what they're saying. And this is how this magic is working in this world of ours also. So black magic, when they say everything that you see around you with your eyes is an illusion. Beyond this veil of illusion, everything is black. You will only go there through certain practices. If not, is when you leave this body that's after you die, will you see everything is dark, everything is black, that is reality. So behind this veil, just behind me right now, behind this illusion, there's a dark world, there's a black world, where there are these coaches, where there are these motivational speakers, who let's say we call our, angel, our angels, our guides, or some of them who are not really good can do these things also for us. So these guys who practice black magic, they use these energies to manipulate the suit, your own body, your own suit. They'll do certain practices where these energies will come and manipulate you, either for your good or for your bad. So if it's for your good, they'll come and give you probably an idea that you will go execute. They're providing you with that body. You know, they provide you with that body. You will put in that energy into making it happen. So similarly, when they want to do something bad to you, they will come and whisper it in your in this body suit of yours through telepathically or through some other form of source. They will make sure that the message is passed where you start feeling like, yeah, you know, something's really going wrong. And once, like I said, once they manipulate this suit, once they start changing it, your outer world can start changing. So the losses in your business, in your love life, in your health can also start getting affected by these energy forces telling you those things. 
So now similarly, some people start fear falling sick. They've manipulated in you believing everything that you eat, you will throw up. Your body is hurting, your arm is hurting. Those pin that is being pricked on that doll is just an indication, pinpointing where they want that pain. That doll has nothing to do connected with you. These guys will come and say to you, you know, they're manipulating in you believing that your arm is hurting. So similarly, when you when a coach in this world manipulates you in believing you can win this race and you will win it and you're visualizing it and there you start sprinting and you've achieved it, it's the same thing. So this bad coach on the other side in the black world over there is doing the same thing. So they will either do it for your good or for your bad. But what they do is they provide you with a body and you execute everything. So similarly, like when people give you a curse in earlier times, this was very, very known giving a curse or a boon, a sadhu would give you a curse. He would just provide you that body, but you are now thinking about that curse again and again, again and again. That okay, this is what he's cursed me that look, you're gonna have a lot of financial losses. And there you go back home and you're constantly thinking, this thinking is adding fuel to that curse, otherwise it's nothing. Or for that good, for the boon that the sadhu gives you, Okay, you know, you see how great you're going to become. You're going and you're thinking, look, I'm going to become great. The big sadhus told me and your actions, your mannerism all change for you to now become great. So how do you stop black magic? How do you stop all of this? Now, let's say in this world of ours, in this three dimension world, your gym instructor is telling you, come on, you can give me two more. You say, shut up. I don't want to. I'm happy with this. That's how you don't take his energy. The motivational speaker is saying, you know, you, this is what you need to do, what you don't need to do. And no, you don't tell me. I know what to do. You're not taking in their energy. Your energy is there for yourself. That body they're providing, you're just rejecting it. No, I don't need your car. I'm happy walking. So similarly, when the black magic starts working, if you start getting that intuition that, you know, something is going wrong, once you start acting on it, once it start act, that becomes a fuel for it. So let's say if your personality is somebody who is really strong, these, these forces, these outside coaches cannot break into this body suit of yours because your personality is such, they will get somebody else. That information will come through somebody else that, you know, you think somebody is in black magic on you because you sneezed and you've fallen sick for probably you've got fever, but this information will be brought to you. So when it happens, when it comes to you, either you keep thinking about it that, yeah, somebody is done and this ad becomes the fuel or you reject it completely no it's rubbish but then you have to really reject it you can't say no it's rubbish then and go back home and start thinking about it because that becomes the fuel this is how black magic really works it's called black it's called kala jadu black magic is because these coaches these bad angels whoever they are on the other side these energies can manipulate us so people who practice it they know how to do it like your coaches and your motivation speaker and regular people who will either uplift you or put you down that is also a freaking art to really uplift somebody or to really put them down. So they who know these practices, who can manipulate these energies, have them working towards them, towards for their favor, can make this happen. So the best thing to do is the minute you start feeling that, okay, has somebody done something? This is not me. I am not that, that bad speaking person. I, these actions are not mine. You reject that thought immediately because the minute you start accepting it, that's where things will start going wrong. So please be careful with all of this and you rather make good use of it than um, go the wrong way. So if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe to my channel. And until I see you again, have a good life. Namaste.